Thank you very much, Chairman Bishop and uh, Ranking Member Algerhalva for allowing me to uh, speak this morning. Director Abbey, I want to start my questioning by asking you some valuable perspectives you may have relating to your experience as Nevada State Director of the U.S. Bureau of Land Management. In 2004, Carson City, Nevada suffered devastating wildfires which scorched over 8,700 acres across the entire west side of the city. The waterfall fire removed all vegetation on the steep mountains leading to threats from flooding and potential debris flows as well as severe damage to surface, wa surface water supplies. Carson City was able to get steady assistance from the Forest Service Bureau of Land Management and other federal agencies to implement short and long-term flood mitigation measures. We are facing a very serious and similar issue in my district in Coquino County due to the damage caused by the Schultz fire. Major flooding has occurred similar to what occurred in Nevada. It seems as if my community can learn from the way the BLM, the Forest Service, and other relevant federal government agencies took accountability for the management of the public lands affected by the disaster and ultimately worked co cooperatively with the state, the county, and the city, and the community to implement a master plan for flood mitigation and other future forest treatment management and rehabilitation initiatives. Can you discuss the partnerships that were formed following the waterfall fire and how that coalition was able to address not only the short-term but the long-term risk in the uh, expeditious manner? Well, for, first let me thank you for bringing up that example because it is how government should work and it's working uh, with uh, local uh, entities as well as members of the public and the communities to move forward and pursue our many, many common goals. You know, some of these wildland fires can be devastating, as Chief Tidwell knows and I uh, all too well. Uh, in that particular case, uh, in the watershed outside of Carson City, which is um, certainly so valuable to that community uh, and the need for protection, uh, everybody joined hands uh, working with state agencies, local governments, members of public and with um, stakeholders to move forward aggressively to try to secure that watershed and protect those, those valuable resources that had not been significantly impacted by that fire. And those resources that had been significantly impacted by that fire, we move forward to uh, aggressively rehab uh, that resource so that the impacts from that fire could be uh, mitigated to the degree possible. As a result of that cooperation and the result of the work that took place there on the ground by many, many people, uh, we were able to salvage that, water, uh, that uh, watershed and protect uh, the water resources for that community. But I, I think, uh, Congressman, there are examples throughout uh, this nation where people have come together to pursue those common goals and, and to, as, as you depicted, uh, to uh, accomplish some amazing things on the ground. Well, I would look forward to having that cooperation with Mr. Tidwell as well, so as we need that immediate type of response in my, in my city. Um, Mr. Uh, uh, Tidwell, you stated to my colleague, Mr. McClintock, of your prioritization with our agency for proper forest health and maintenance. A prominent project of particular interest in my district and state is the Four Forest uh, Restoration Initiative, which puts communities in Arizona back to work in management and thinning of our forest. This is a golden opportunity to push timeliness on benchmark contracts and cooperations, as well as the drain on the federal resources as far as money. How do you see us expediting this, this, um, these benchmarks and getting this project uh, initiated um, and getting contracts adjudicated? Well, through a, a couple actions we're taking, we have directed additional resources you know, to the region to be able to focus on, on the work that's being proposed. Um, we've got a tremendous uh, opportunity here to establish a model about how we can restore large, large acres um, across the country. The collaborative uh, approach that these folks have pull together I think is just a model for the nation. So we're going to direct additional resources. We're also working with um, CEQ to see if we can find ways to be more efficient with doing the necessary NEPA analysis so that we can take the work from the collaborative and be able to move forward much faster than we normally have done um, in the past with, uh, in, with our environmental assessments, um, with environmental impact statements. We have an opportunity here to learn how we can do analysis on like a over 100,000 acres at one time and to be able to move forward with that level of work. And so it's a very exciting proposal. It's just representative of many of the collaboratives around the country. But this is one we'd want to focus on to be able to move forward and use it as a model. Thank you, Mr. Tobin. Yield back the balance of my time. 